Welcome back to Great Day Washington. 30 states have legalized some form of marijuana, and of those 39 states plus the District of Columbia allow adults age 21 and over to use cannabis for recreation. This is a, a great opportunity to have a conversation about safety, justice, and actually doing what works. Was Marilyn Guber that was Maryland gubernatorial candidate Benjamin Jealous. The activist and former president of the NAACP says he would like to see marijuana legal for medicinal purposes and for recreation. But just because it is legal in so many states, there are still quite a few rules and regulations you need to adhere to if you decide to get into the marijuana business. So joining us this morning with some of those tips, and some do's and don'ts is author of America's Green Rush from the black market to the free market, Pete Asmus. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely excited to be here. When you really talk about this opportunity right now in America, it is the number one opportunity, the greatest moment in time for anybody who really wants to get involved and, and create uh, a small business to create wealth, right? To create a legacy and freedom for their family. But you've got to avoid mistakes that everybody is going to make. And in fact, one of the biggest mistakes that we have right now, everybody calls the field of dreams mistake. The reason it's called the field of dreams mistake is because they say, if you build it, they will come. Right? But that's not the case. The reality is you can't just have a whole bunch of product be sitting on the sidelines right. and have everybody coming up to you. You have to have a business plan. You have to have customer service now. You have to have an idea of what you're going to do. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck and you're not going to go anywhere. Right? The second thing is the Ben Franklin blunder. All right? And the reason we call it the Ben Franklin blunder is because it's all about the money. Everybody thinks that the price of legal marijuana is going to increase, but that's impossible. With the laws of supply and demand, it forces it back down, right? And so you've got in Colorado and Oregon alone, it's gone from say $2,000 to $2,500 per pound, all the way down to $1,300 a pound. That's huge, which really leads us into our third mistake that people make. And that all comes down to keeping you out of jail, right? It all comes down to business laws. It comes down to the real estate laws. You've got a lot of issues happening right now. And if you don't stay in compliance, for instance, in Washington, you can't sell marijuana. Right. So you have to gift it. So you have to come in and, hey, if you buy this cup, then we're gonna give you X number of ounces or, or whatever the weight might be, right? So you've got a lot of jurisdiction that you have to stay within so that you stay out of jail. Does that make sense? And people are doing that here in D.C., but they're still kind of, I think the, the the police are still figuring out how it's legal. You know, everybody's still kind of figuring out all the details and right. logistics of everything. Yeah, and it's it's scary because what are we going to do here in, in D.C.? You have a really unique market because you have a, a city without a state, right? You've got a Congress that, that doesn't necessarily always live here, but that can really kind of dictate what happens here, mm -hmm. right? And so that, that brings up a couple of things. The biggest thing is that you have the opportunity to not just invest here, but you can invest out of state. So you can look into funds, you can look into stocks, you can look into all kinds of different methods to invest to still get in on the boom without necessarily getting in on it in your local market. Okay, Pete, so for people out there who wanna go legit, you know, <laughs> yeah. they, they've been doing their side hustle, it's been underground, and they want to make it above ground and be a part of this, what, like you said, green rush. Absolutely. Maybe millions, billions of dollars to be made. Yes. What's the first step? And I know you have some points in your book, but what's the first step people should just start considering for going legit in this green rush? You want to make sure that whatever you get involved in is going to have these, these really these five things, right? You want to follow the green, okay? G, you want to make sure that whoever you're working with is the general of that business, that they're controlling it from the top to the bottom, that you understand the industry and have a vertical out. The last thing you want to be doing is growing a whole bunch of marijuana with nobody to get rid of it to. Right? Mm -hmm. That's a bad decision. That's so that you want to have that vertical. Come mentality. That's right. right. Okay. Okay. Rules. You got to follow the rules. Okay. Stay compliant. Otherwise, you're going to end up in handcuffs. Right? Nobody wants these these bracelets. All right. The second thing, is, or the third thing, really is all about e economics. Okay. So make sure that you understand what the economics are. Make sure that you're fully funded. You don't want to run out of money halfway through and then not be able to go anywhere and fail. Uh, the e 
employees. Make sure that you hire the right employees, ones that know what they're doing and are not going to steal from you, right? Yeah. It's a big thing. <laughs> and you're in the you're in the herbal drug You're going business, from so. the black market to the free <laughs> the market. The green market, okay. So you All have right. some, some elements that we have to still get rid of, right? And then N, it stands for needs. You're gonna have special needs. We have special needs in equipment, we have special needs in banking, and we're gonna have special needs in real estate. And with that, it really brings us to the greatest opportunity. And that's why I'm saying, if you have a little bit of money, if you're interested in getting involved in the green rush and you wanna become part of it, then now is the time. With the legalization and the continued rush of legalization of, of marijuana, it really created this moment in time that has opportunities that have never existed before and will never exist again unless you get in that green rush right now. Ooh. Real quick before we let you go, your, your book is out on Amazon, but people yep. can hear you speak as well. That's right, August 27th, I'm gonna be speaking at Captivate West in Las Vegas, so you guys can fly out there. It's gonna be a great time. <laughs> um, it's gonna be August 27th. And uh, it's being put on by Jirasi Media. So I'm excited about well, doing that. Well, thank you so much. I know you're a family man and you're yes. a lifelong entrepreneur and you're helping people go go legal with, yes. with legalized marijuana. That's Thanks right. Thanks for coming. A great day. We'll thank be right you. back. You're great. Great energy, too.